welcome to the description of the French profile. Uh, this is the first uh, multi-role uh, aircraft of the last generation. Uh, for the beginning, we can start with uh, the radar, with the uh, NASA radar. We can uh, lock uh, multiple uh, targets and we can shoot four missiles at the same time with the Rafale. In the upper part, you got the FSO, the uh, electronic uh, that provides us a camera on uh, infrared uh, capture of the target uh, without any um, any waves, so we can be uh, very, uh, very uh, still for using uh, these uh, these sensors. We use in in, uh, in the air tour as well in air to ground. Okay, now we are in front of the uh, air intake of the engine of the Rafale. Uh, we have uh, two engines, uh, M88 uh, from Snegma, which uh, allowed us uh, 15 tons of thrust uh, for the for the Rafale. Here you have uh, the ECM uh, stuff can uh, allow us to uh, catch all the waves from the radar, from the threat radar, from coming from the ground or uh, coming from the uh, from the air. Here we get uh, the guns, uh, 30 millimeters uh, rounds uh, with uh, multiple rounds to uh, shoot uh, in air to air or in air to ground. Below the uh, the wings, we can carry uh, several uh, weapons. Uh, first of all, air to air with uh, the Mika, electromagnetic Mika. We can carry in air to ground the scalp, the cruising missile precise. We can carry as well bombs, uh, GPU 12, GPU 22, or the A2SM, uh, able to uh, to perform the, the shoot of the bombs by the GPS or uh, by uh, guided laser wave. Okay, now we are at the, the tip of the wing, uh, where we can carry uh, infrared missiles. Uh, we can carry for sure two in each part of the, of the Rafale. At the top of the of the tail upstairs, you have uh, the uh, jammer, uh, still using all uh, the ECM uh, capability to jam uh, electromagnetic waves. And we have at the bottom of the tail, we have the shaft on flares in order to uh, shaft the uh, infrared missiles coming in bomb the Rafale. Uh, we are also allowed to uh, deflect the base of the tail. Uh, we can use actually uh, some flares to uh, deny some uh, infrared missiles coming from the ground or from the air in the missiles. On the back here we have some shafts in order to uh, jam uh, the waves of the radar of the enemy radar. Okay, now we are at the back of the Rafale. Uh, as you can see, uh, the two uh, Snegma engine uh, who allowed us uh, 15 tons of thrust, uh, which is uh, very comfortable uh, if we have a, a hot weather or if we are carrying uh, a lot of uh, weapons under uh, the aircraft. So they allow us enough thrust uh, to uh, to perform a lot of maneuverability uh, during the fight, during the fight against all the aircraft. And uh, we can say that uh, at this point uh, we are happy to fly the Rafale because in any um, dog fight we are a little more uh, okay. Now you are seated in the Rafale. Uh, we start from the left here with the throttle. Uh, which one we uh, we make the, the two uh, engines uh, snake mar regulations. After that we have uh, some small switches about the landing gear and uh, about the battery and so on. Here two little uh, screen touching screen to uh, validate the information that we want on the left touching screen which is right there the head up display in which we have all the navigation uh, information about the speed the target the heading and uh, very much uh, very many many uh, informations the low uh, display right now ahead of the head in which we have all the fuel the fusing of all the sensors the radar the FSO the ECM the map navigation flight plan and so on. Just under it we have a touchpad to validate the information we want. At the right part of the aircraft you have another touching screen here in where we can put what we want for the for the page about the ivory page, the navigation page, the ECM page, we put what we want. And at the, uh, at the last we have the stickers at the right part here uh, to fly the aircraft. And as you can see it's a very pure aircraft. All the switches are cut on the throttle on the stick that means that during the flight all you have to do is to put, put 
put your hands in a throttle on the stick and all the switches are under your fingers. You don't have to move in your aircraft to, uh, in order to, to search the uh, switches in your aircraft. It's a very comfortable one because you fly all the time with your hands on the throttle on the stick and using the touch screen left, right or the touchpad here. So it's very, very comfortable aircraft.